Okay, I'm going to show you a little bit about your resistance welder. First, you got the P280 welding control back here, and you'll get a video show, describing the full setup on the P280. You've got your weld nut electrode system here with the stem that is sized for your appropriate uh, weld nuts. Now, currently, we're doing the M8s. Now, you notice you can probably hear some air leaking. That's actually a blow through that's coming through the electrode to keep slag and everything from binding up this lower spring loaded guide pin. And then this is the water cooling for cooling the outside. Currently we've got the chiller on, so we've got some conversation. This is your M8 feeder. This is how the M8 nuts are presented to the stem. And it goes back to this side. On the M8 feeder itself, you have a test rod on off. So if I energize it, it places the nut on the electrode. I do energize it. It feeds a new one into the system. And we can do that again. The switch next to that is for part and feeder or weld only. So if you don't want to use the feeder and just want to use it as a standard welder, you switch that to the weld only and now the machine will operate simply like a welder. The air is adjusted on the back side of the machine. You've got a top gauge, which is your weld pressure down. The bottom gauge, which is your bucking, your forge pressure, which physically holds the head up in the air right now. So, as an example, I'm going to turn the weld switch off with the E button. Take one of your sample parts, put over the spring, hold the electrode, go through the process, finish it, comes up, and you'd have a welded part. So we're going to do this on video once. So again, start with your part, step on the foot switch and hold it down. Weld, release, and repeat. Well, metal. So we'll go ahead and pause here, get set up, and we'll run the rest of them.